Hey guys, my name is Jesse. I'm the owner of Edge Media. And today I wanted to quickly show you guys a couple things that you can edit on your website in terms of design and layout and copy that have the potential of double, if not tripling the amount of orders, reservation and calls that you have organically coming through your website. Um, the reason I wanted to provide this free conversion optimization analysis is because I'm new to the city of Calgary, originally from Winnipeg, and I want to be able to provide a lot of value to Calgary businesses here, and specifically within the restaurant industry, because I think there is a ton of potential for your website in specific to start generating more orders, reservation, and calls online. So I want to help you guys succeed in. I'm hoping if I provide you this value that there's an opportunity for us to potentially work in the future. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, that's probably going to be a little bit of a long video, probably four to five minutes. Um, so bear with me here. But if you stick through to the end, you will get the exact breakdown of what adjustments you need to make on your website to convert more of your visitors into customers. Okay. So I'm just going to jump right into it here. And we're going to start off by going actually into the mobile view. Uh, I'm just going to make this hidden here. So going into the mobile view, the first thing that I'd notice <clears throat> is that there's a ton of real estate here, a ton of screen space that's kind of being wasted. It's great that you have your achievements and everything here. And this is like the social proof this is awesome, but why not have, keep it scrolling horizontally in like a carousel. And what I mean by that is that if we open this up here, why not have this just scrolling this way, right? You can still have all these, but have them scrolling automatically horizontally. So you're saving a ton of space on your, on your home screen. So that's one of the first adjustments I would make just so you have more room to showcase the value of your restaurant. The second thing that you're missing is a clear call to action. So you don't have a call to action other than, um, the book a table here, which is great. So that's probably like your primary call to action, black button that says book a table. Um, so why not have a black button here that just says book a table and get rid of this, this form here. Reason you want to do that is just cause you want to simplify the user experience for your customers. Um, so by doing that, you'd have your black button here. That'd be your book a table button. And then underneath of that, cause on mobile, they're probably gonna be at your restaurant. Uh, maybe they want to see the menu before they reserve. So you can have another white button here. That's see menu this way. They have two very clear, easy navigation points, right? Awesome. And then, so that's going to clean up your page quite a bit. Um, and then the third thing I want to talk about is the consistency in the button. So if I scroll down here, I notice that you have another black button here that's learn more and then another black button here that's send. So one of the main things you want to do when you're um, optimizing your website for conversions is have a consistency in colors. So every black button should be to book a table, right? That's why anytime they see a, a black button, that'll be psychologically imprinted in their brain book a table. So what you could do is you could just change this to the white button, just change this to white and then have a black button underneath that's book a table. Same thing here, have this white and then a black button underneath book a table. So they're always have that option there. Um, and then in terms of the actual messaging, you don't have a clear headline or description of what your business is like what they do. Um, obviously it's a restaurant, but what kind of restaurant, right? Like when someone opens up this website, um, over 60% of people don't scroll down. So you need to have your value propositions available right at the top. So by having that carousel here with your features, that would be great. Um, another thing that you could do though, is this section right here, bump it up so that your image is about um, here to here, you have your image. And then this way you can have text here with your headline, which could be like Calgary's top rated Italian cuisine. And then you have your two buns and then you have the scroller here. And this way you're just saving a ton of space on your website and you have your value pr proposition across right away. Buns are super easy to access for people. Um, and then another thing that I would do is I would have 
uh, where this <laughs> this button is ironically have like a phone call button right here and then maybe have uh, a menu icon button right here because I do believe if you scroll down here you don't have a sticky menu um, so that's another option and then also when you are scrolling down something that I'd recommend doing is have a sticky call to action so where this is pretend I'm like scrolling down I'm halfway through the screen why not have a big button across the screen here that's book you know book a table so this way as they're scrolling through your website they have the big call to action to book a table they have easy access to make a phone call and then have easy access to additional menu um, options right here super easy convenient navigation um, this is within thumb reach of like natural hand positions too so that would be awesome um, other than that, that's all I would recommend for now. Like other than that, like your styling the website's great. You know, you have good photos. Uh, I would personally have more photos of like the atmosphere in here because I know if I'm looking to go eat at a restaurant, uh, more often than not, I want to, I want to actually see what the atmosphere is going to look like, so I can show my girlfriend like, hey, you think this place is cute? Look how good their food looks, right? Um, and it, it's just you're you're telling a story at that point, right? Um, oh, I'll refresh this quickly. This didn't load properly. So yeah, like I said, like have that. So make those changes on your mobile optimization because that's where 80% of your customers are going to be in the first place. Um, other than that, I do notice there's some formatting issues when reloading this website here. There we go. Um, so so you do have the sticky header here. So why not put a button here, book, book a table, right? Always have that call to action. You want to be asking for the sale. Um, and then again, have that headline here, Calgary's top rated authentic Italian cuisine. And then you and just switch the order of these, maybe have these underneath here, have the book a table button, see menu button, get rid of this. Cause you want to make it easy, convenient for them and guide them to the actions that they're going to take on your website. Um, other than that, oh, oh, another thing too, is why not just have, whoops. Why not just have these icons up here instead of just the text? Um, I personally trust the icons a lot more than text written because anyone can write text, right? I mean, anyone can download the icons too, but these are just a lot more visually appealing to see. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys got a ton of value from that. I went through it really quickly. Um, I do this all the time. So if you guys need a hand with anything, please feel free to book a discovery call with me at the end of this video. There's going to be a button that says book a discovery call. It's hundred percent free. I hope you guys get a ton of value. I hope you make these adjustments because I guarantee they will double or even triple the amount of calls, orders, and reservations you have coming through your website organically. Again, my name is Jesse. I'm from Edge Media, and I hope you have a great day.